What's up, guys? It makes me vibes here. I just want to say I hope your day has been going great. I hope it's been filled with love and positivity, and I genuinely hope it's going your way. It's been a pretty chill day today. Woke up and went to a doctor's appointment and started journaling, right? Just how much gratitude I've had of just the small things, right? Having a roof over my head, money in my pocket, right? Food in my refrigerator, right? Clean water, just things like that. Small things, albeit, you know, on a bigger scale, so many people don't have. And so, like, lately I've just been really in this gratitude mindset and really just feeling thankful for everything, people, animals, everything in my life, right? Because I know so many people don't have those things. Um, I'm about to meet my friend and go see the Beyonce movie. Uh, my sisters went to go see her in Dallas a couple months ago and got me this shirt. So I'm about to go see her movie. Um, I'm not like a super fan like them, but I really appreciate her artistry or what what I've seen of her artistry, her performance. Her performances are, are really, really, really nice. And uh, I've seen really great reviews from the movie, so I'm excited to see it. But I'm about to meet my friend and see that. Crazy. I just got back from seeing the uh, Renaissance film by Beyonce. Man, it is inspirational, to say the least. This boisterous, grandeur, avant-garde type of film. It was mostly her concert mixed in tidbits with uh, prep work behind the scenes, everyone involved how it got started, how she made the album, the process of everything from family quotes, everything like it was really inspirational to me because them showing everyone in the crowd and I've been to a lot of concerts. I've been to a lot of festivals. I will go probably to the next concert uh, that she throws. Uh, I was going to go to this one, but something came up. Like I mentioned, my sisters went, so they tried to make me jealous, but no, it was great, man. See everybody in the crowd and show everyone from different backgrounds to different, you know, like everyone just having fun. It wasn't, it didn't seem like an, it seemed like an environment where it was just total acceptance, total, like be yourselves, total, like, let's just have fun. And you could feel it like even through the film, right? I feel like today there's a lot of carbon copies. It's not much individuality and you can see it, right? You can see it. You can see when someone is afraid to be themselves. And, and I don't, I don't fault them because we kind of been shamed, you know, to not really be ourselves. And so when you find someone that is actually like being themselves and actually like doing things, you know, according to how they think and not living on someone else's terms and actually being, uh, let's use his buzzword authentic, then it's almost shocking. It's surprising. It's, it's refreshing, you know, uh, at least to me, it's refreshing. And it feels as though it takes some sort of uh, drug, some sort of stimulant, you know, even with I me mean, microdosing, right? Which has been going great so far, but it takes something like that for you to actually drop your shields, drop your mask, drop your, your guards up. And 
actually live authentically and and whatever that means to you right we all have different uh biases and different methods of how we live obviously but it takes something like that you know uh for you to really see someone it's a fear of looking stupid it's a fear of judgment right backlash um really acceptance you know you think about it but it's just refreshing to me when I come across individuals who really think for themselves and really question things and just seeing the process of the film and all of the work that she put in and just watching artists in general. I mean, I've always been like this, even for me, you know, in photography, uh, you know, my ultimate goal is to really work the work with an artist, go on tour and things, but seeing an artist really put their, you know, best foot forward and cultivate something for the fans and really, show the process, right? It's just, it's just, it's just awe inspiring, man. I I have no other words for it, but then that, on a larger note, I, my buddies right here. On a larger note, <laughs> my neighbors, on a larger note, uh, em, em, embrace, embrace who you are. I, I know that that's, that's not an easy thing to do. It takes years and years to really find out what you like, do it, and be your own cheerleader, ultimately. right? More self-love, uh, as I've been saying in all my videos, but it takes that. It does. And this is just a broader message that I found out just through watching the film. You know, my my buddy was also like, man, this is this was great. Like, thank you for taking me. And I was just like, I wouldn't even mind watching it again, honestly, but it's two hours and 45 minute runtime. So it's, it's pretty long, but it's, I recommend it for sure. Uh, even if you're not a fan necessarily, I think you'd be really inspired to, to be your, be yourself, whatever that means for you. So, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it's been a long day. It's pretty early, but probably catch some shut eye. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.